Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for allowing me to sit on the dais. And I have a ton of questions plus a, a lot of information to submit for the record. Um, and, and I've been listening with great interest. Uh, we have in my area a distribution center that is scheduled, I'm sure you already have been briefed, uh, for transition over to another area, which is roughly 30 miles away in one of the most heavily trafficked uh, area of uh, uh, southeast LA County uh, from industry to Santa Ana, California. Uh, we started working uh, since January of 09 and according to what I'm reading from the staff report is that by law you have to notify the area that you will be closing. There was no notification, or at least none that I found out. I found out from the employees who called my office to give us the information and so we started delving into. Since then I have asked for verbally, in writing, uh, you name it, to try to get information from uh, any of the postal authorities, local, um, Washington, and I've been given what I would call the runaround. Uh, the report that was given to me is blank. The second report I received, it's all, uh, they called it redacted, which is blacked out. So essentially, we can't make any comparison. You say this is uh, um, uh, information that is uh, um, proprietary. Well, how are we to be able to understand what you're trying to do and how you're trying to do it? Now, the report indicates there's uh, 26 uh, employees that will be either transferred or may end up moving uh, um, along in their retirement, whatever. Yet, uh, um, there is no, no uh, real way for me to understand what's going to happen. There's no plan B. What happens if Santa Ana can't afford them? Cannot accept that amount of traffic. Now, understanding that in December, you move some of it to industry Christmas mail because Santa Ana couldn't handle it. So that tells me there's an issue. I've asked for capacity. What is the capacity of one versus the other? The footprint. I can't get any information from you guys. It's proprietary. Why? Can't we get some information so that I can tell my cities? And by the way, I have letters and uh, uh, city council resolutions in the packet telling you and this committee of their opposition without information. So I'm very frustrated by all this. And then when I hear, and by the way, into the record I'm introducing a uh, postal report news blog uh, on uh, significant degradations in service Lima consolidation. And they state very openly, d report delayed loss, damage bills, payments, packages, and medicine. Now, in my quarter, I have the city of industry, which is 95% industrial. These are people that ship in and out that are constantly uh, doing a package mailing or a mail. And we're saying, sorry, guys, you don't matter. This industrial area, which is one of the hubs of the LA County, it doesn't matter. We're sending it to Santa Ana, which is mostly residential. Well, not residential. It's got a mixture of everything. So there has been no way for me to be able to gauge what is being based on. Um, when, when you talk about the, the junk mail, are you studying? Are you increasing those rates? Because two-thirds of my mail at home is junk. Who's paying for that? Is it being uh, at, at the expense of regular mail or other services? Um, it, it, there's... <laughs> Are you studying anything that is going to tell us, are you retiring people, are you allowing them to retire, and you say that, that you've done some uh, review um, to be able to make up for that loss in, in UBSPS uh, um, uh, income? Um, I, th th there's a million questions that I have, and I'd like to, Mr. Chairman, introduce in the record uh, the several files that I have in, uh, on this. And I would like to just show up for um, you guys as edification. This is what I received. Thank you very much. Isn't that nice? Blanks. Black. So to me, it is not the way you treat a request from members of Congress. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Without objection, it's so entered into the record.